Let's go, dinosaurs. So, okay, let's think about this. How would I defeat the piranhas? How would I defeat the piranhas with bunnies? Is this possible? To do so, I need the Shinhair Militia. Hmm. That's definitely true. Spam like bunnies and kill them all off. Bunnies can run Sorrow and Lullaby. Yes, I like Sorrow, I like Lullaby. Those are all uh, very valuable drops. So, okay, when, when, when theory crafting how to beat the piranhas, level two. Um, you need, I would argue, a couple of things. Wipes are essential. One, three drops are essential. I also recommend running things that, uh, have a, you know, anything with a large back end reversion, those are useful. Let's build a piranha deck. Let's do it. We can rebuild this uh, this bunny deck pretty easily. So first things first. Hmm. Ninja training might be too expensive. I like the idea of it though. Target attacking troop gets minus one, minus one this turn. Um, that seems legit. We'll put in a pack raptor. Uh, we'll put in a maggot. We will put in... Something. A lot of one drops are useful. Uh, where's the SAR? Did I pass it over? I must have. Oh, there it is. Get three sorrows. Fertile and Gorger, I also passed that over. You like Hop Hero. Does Hop Hero work? Sacrifice another troop, target troop gets minus one attack this turn. I mean, if we can get him high enough, he's good. My issue is that he's going to be small, right? Sepulchre Magic Maggot, of course, when you play this, create a copy of it for each troop that died this turn and put them into play. Um. Hmm. Orson's Dream is double threshold. That's a little bit awkward. We're probably going to avoid that. Determined Zombie, blood, amazing for this challenge. One, three for two. Great way to stall. Um, Shroom Shaw. 
Let's actually Shroomshaw, as they are pretty great chump blockers. Pretty good chump blockers, and I can almost guarantee that I will need something like that to survive this. Grave Nibbler's too slow. Gordazuma can't block. Necrophage Sensei gets plus one, plus one for each troop in your crypt. I can probably make use of that. Darkspire Priestess. Not a bad idea either there, Roy G. The problem is it dies. The thing, the thing is, a, the, the thing that I've discovered when playing this Piranha is that you are going to need board wipes to survive. You're going to need um, stall to survive. Um, and the, the key is building up a board big enough that every time they generate troops, you can just block. If you can't manage that, um, then you are not going to have a good time with the challenge. Uh, bloat caps might actually be worthwhile as they cause the opposing champion to choose and discard a card. Every time we cause them to discard a shard, that is three fewer, uh, sorry, four fewer piranhas coming in and trying to eat our face. Uh, did, I, did I lose my militias? I need my militias. Um... Hair Militia. Wonder if that Cottontail Recruiter is worth it. Zombie Plague? Yes, Zombie Plague. We do, in fact, have one. Erm. Sure, there are other things I could use. You use Noxious Glory. Hmm. Noxious Glory seems a little bit expensive. But definitely a solid board wipe. Good call, Lyra Griff. Um, what else can we do? I wonder if Keeper of the Wounded Petal is worth it. She starts out life drain. She also starts out small, though, for us, and that is an issue. How many Shin Hair do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's kind of a small number. Eight. Might be too small. Scour, uh, the witch. The witch is good. Um, and we can give her plus one, plus one. She's a two, four for two. Anything that lets us block a couple times is great. Shinhair Eulogist. Um, but that's going to require a lot of Shinhair to die. Is that something I can manage? Maybe. Yeah, maybe that's the route we go. Dying Shin Hair. Hmm. Constantine is a 3 3 for 2. Yes, she is. The issue that I have that with that, uh, Larogif, is that she is also, uh, Double wild. Uh, we are now in multiple threshold, and I'm not sure I'm going to be able to play her uh, easily. That's my concern. Bucktooth Commander. 
Um, after after seeing the equipment on where is he? If I can find him. After seeing the equipment on the Runier Commander, I think I'm willing to risk a four drop. This gets plus one plus one for each troop I control, and at the start of my turn, create a battle hopper and put him into play. In conjunction with Shroomshaw, if we put this uh, mask on which I think we have, a uh, random shin hair in your hand gets cost minus two. We might be able to do some crazy combos there. We'll have to get lucky, but it might be worth it. Four drops are risky, though. Lullaby, shin hair militia, noxious glory. Let's go and put some of my other shin hair in here. I am thinking specifically our one drops. Sensei could be good. The, you know, the issue with Sensei is he replaces himself, but you know, getting to those resources is kind of painful. Let's do Keeper and let's do Bunny. And then I think I want to consider Blood Ritualist might be good, but that's actually continual loss. It's not great. Nori, Nori could be nice. He's a three drop though. Hmm. Let's go with some Bucktooth Commanders. And... Hopefully, we don't die in a dead puddle. Puddle of dead. Let's choose equipment. Hey, Bekir! Welcome! Um... Let's do the Shroom Mask. When this dies, a random shin here in your hand gets cost minus two. That'll be good. Let's go with our chest. Uh, target troop gets plus one, plus one. If we have extra resources, that could be a thing. Gloves. Um, let's go... At the start of your turn, choose one at random. Add a fertility counter to this, or add two fertility counters to this. Um, create a kill blade of the milky eye for each fertility counter. Yes, please. Infinite blockers are best blockers. Um, lullabies have cost minus one. Or we can make our maggots become quick troops. We have two lullabies and only one maggot. I think quick maggots are going to be more impactful, though. We'll try quick maggots. Boots of the Plague Walker. Um, give my militias extra things. Yes, please. And then finally, for our weapon... I like at the start of your turn, create a battle hopper and put it into play. So to do this, we're going to need some Shard of the Ancients, much as I don't like, um, well, actually no, that's too slow. Uh, let's just go normal, normal shards. What's our distribution? Pretty strong in wild, pretty strong in blood. It's about 50-50, slightly heavier on the blood. But all of our early drops are wild. So that means we're going to need 10, 
10, 1, Two. One more blood. Three. All right, level two, rabbit cleric. Let's go for the piranhas. I think this is one of the hardest battles. We are lucky. Getting to go first is a big deal. No blood, but a Scourge Crowd Rich. I'm going to keep this hand, I think. If we get blood, it's going to be excellent. If we don't, um, then I guess we will just die. Blood next turn or we scoop. The Pranas are an endurance encounter. Yes, they are, Red Phoenix. They're all about uh, surviving multiple turns. We did not get the blood, that's game. We'll concede. The good news is it's you know it's not too difficult to try multiple times. Come on, Bouncel, you can do it. For the Horde. Oh wait, that's a different game. I like this hand much better. I like an early Exarch of the Egg into a Bloat Cat. Noxious Glory can also do some work. I think Sorrow needs to come down next turn. And then we bloat cap and save our bloat cap for a noxious glory. <laughs> Truth be told, I didn't play WoW um, because I grew up on a farm and farms traditionally don't have great internet. Um, so I mostly uh, I mostly just picked up that culture from elsewhere. I understand there are polarizing feelings about, uh, about those factions in WoW. Ooh, Determined Zombie, that's kind of nice. Can I survive another turn? No, we'll sorrow. And then we determine zombie. Actually, now that I think about it, bloat cap might have been the better play. 
It's just gonna create a bunch of things now. Yeah. And any that we don't block... Holy... I wish I played Bloat Cap so much. Bloat Cap would have been amazing. Well, we can survive one swing. Yeah, we can survive one swing. We'll knock this glory next. Yeah. Part of my concern is that I do not have... Um... I do not have enough blockers to keep this up for very much longer. We'll do that. Brings us down to seven. And a piranha. Oh. No. Still still worth doing. Noxious Glory is gonna be the play. Um, and I might as well swing in. They're not speed troops. So, two damages. Let's draw to some Shin Hair. A Life Drain Cleric could do some work for me. Question is how I'll stabilize in place against a shard. Yes! Spiderling! Ha ha! Ha ha ha! But I need I need something else. You are absolutely right there, Jesus. A shard's not gonna do it. So I'm gonna take some damage. Um, I really would rather not. If he gets another shard, I'm gonna need another board wipe. Uh, but I'll take this damage because I would rather take damage while it's low and then block with my troops as they're going to die with things like spiderlings later on. Awesome, awesome, okay. A piranha, not a shard. Big deal. Unfortunately, we also got a shard. No deck bad. I'm at seven shards. Now I am forced to sacrifice some of my stuff. Um, that sucks, but I think I have to do it. I mean, we're not dead yet. We're not dead yet. We can pull into... Um, like a necrophage. Okay, now we're completely dead. Ah, so close! So close! <laughs> Why? Oh! Speaking of one card wins there with the hard casting Eternal Guardian there, Shosny. Um, Cell and I were theory crafting. Grant. Grant is a one card win condition for this for this fight. If you can get him out at the start of your turn, each other troop gets minus one, minus one. 
Um, so I think we'll put one of him in here. Of course, the question is, what do what do I put in instead? I wasn't impressed by Bloat Cap. Not really. We played him too late, but... We'll try that. You mentioned Grot when you, I was deck building. Ah! Well, then you are a clever man, Chosny. I, I, didn't, uh, I didn't see your post, unfortunately. But it's a solid option. Grot is great. I don't know about that, Cell, but you were first. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it. I have a Grant. I just need to draw into uh, solutions. Hmm. You've done every fight except the Wormred Queen and Wichter in the dungeon. Orcs don't go well there. Wichter's pretty cool. Can I survive this? I don't think so. I think I need to go first. So I'm going to be taking what? Uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Yeah, that's dead. I can't go second. I cannot go second without a board wipe. Alucard, thank you so much for the host. And for everybody who's joining us from Alucard's channel, you are watching Dinotropia. And we are currently trying our luck against the Piranhas, one of the puzzle fights in the Hex campaign. Hmm. It is completely possible to clear on a level 2 character. I've done it before. Just need a little bit of luck. Ooh, this might be that luck. And we get to start! Oh, this is amazing. No! 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 That was probably the best hand I had to win this. And yet somehow I played my blood shard. No. Maybe the fish also won't play as piranhas. <laughs> oh no! Well, at least it wasn't a shin hair. That would have been tragic. Um. I'll play the Keeper, and the Blossoming Concubunny. The trick is to get him up to three as fast as possible. If I can do that, I have a good chance of stabilizing. Next turn I can play Battle Hopper down, um, as well as like a Skurg Crag Wit- a Skurg Crag Witch, which will let me block one of these guys that attacked in. Of 
That'll be useful. You're trying to do a speedrun deck for the campaign? Elf Warrior is what you think is the best. Yeah, Elf Warrior is strong there, Ansgar. I would, I would strongly consider Elf Warrior. Fast. Pretty redonkulous. Oh, there we go. Server hamster thinking for a little bit. I'm gonna take some damage now. What, 10? Yeah. Can't stop that. A real trick is going to be stopping this next swarm. So I either need a mass board wipe or some kind of miracle. Like another blossoming concubunny would be great, actually. Hmm. Let's see if I can do that math. No, that's not what I needed. That is a wild shard. Wild shard lets me play down that guy. I can toss down the Skirkrag Witch. But I can't block... Let's see, another 10. That's lethal. That's lethal. I'm dead. Ah. Hey, Sithos! How am I enjoying the PV campaign so far? It is fantastic. I'm really, really enjoying it. Played through on multiple different characters. This is the one that the stream voted for, our bunny cleric. Hmm. Hmm. Guys, 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 guys. No, no, no. No bickering. Mm -mm. Oh, this is a hand I can keep. Yes! Multiple sorrows. And a keeper of the wounded pedal. You just defeated the final dungeon boss yesterday, got really lucky with some spider eggs and crazy wombo comboing. I love, I love the, uh, the spiders. This is brilliant. This time I'm gonna play the keeper. And I can follow that up next turn with a shin hair militia and sorrow. Hmm. Ten damage, that's fine. We can come back from that. I believe. I think the important thing is that our... Our keeper doesn't die. A grant the infinite. Okay. I mean, it's, it's useful. And Sorrow number one, making the rounds. <sighs> oh, should have swung in there. Did not. That was a bit of a mistake. Hmm. 
on that clip, my clack. No, because we have Shin Hair Militia. Uh, when a sh when this guy just play another target Shin Hair you control gets plus one plus one. Uh, that's really helpful for our purposes. I do need to draw into a Shin Hair though, otherwise I might not be able to survive this for very much longer. Ooh, yes, 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 a thousand times yes. We'll play this guy. Um, Necrophage is only the troops of mine that have died. Slightly unfortunate. But we can block two of these. And then Sorrow again. And the bigger our life drain clerics get, the more uh, mileage I can, can sort of rack up here. Every health point is precious. Pack Raptor. Yeah, you know what? Going in. So now we can block three of them. And with a cleric of this size, uh, the one that hits us isn't actually going to overwhelm us anytime soon. can't play the necrophage sensei yet i need i need it to be a i need it to be at least a 3-3 before i play it so maybe this is the downside of this troop hmm you think i have it well if i get one more resource i can play the rune ear commander Um, and once I get a Runeer Commander out, I'm pretty confident. Well, that's the trick. I will need that extra resource. Exarch! Exarch works. This is actually great. I can sacrifice the Shinhair Militia. Um, unless I don't need to. I actually don't need to. With a Swift Strike troop like Pack Raptor, um, I can continue to gain health and just slow play this. So we use the Pack Raptor to block the, th block the three, and then we do everything else by the book here. So we'll still gain one health. I would like my Runeer Commander. Come on, resource. No, but a Bucktooth Commander does some work for us as well. Now we can block with everything. Plus five health. Yes! Yes! We can do this. Hey, Roma Rocky! Welcome! How are you doing? We are on the brink of great victory. Level 2, Shinhair Cleric, taking on piranhas like a boss. Come on. Yes! Yes! Rune Ear Commander. Today Hex was unplayable for you. Lag was something unimaginable. Lag comes and goes, Roma. 
Um, I would recommend maybe checking it out again. I'm gonna hold back for one more turn, but then I think we've got this. Because we're gonna be making one twos at the start of our turn because of the equipment we have on the Runier Commander. These, one of those. Yeah, this is pretty fantastic. Um, I'm just going to swing in with the Runier Commander. At this point, I can block in with everything. One, two, three, four, five blockers. Yeah, I'm going to start swinging in um, with these guys. missed the first part of this encounter. How did I build up my board? Um, got some lucky got some lucky plays. We had two sorrows, which helped us get past this first part. Board wipes are essential. Sorrow is one of those board wipes. So I could actually play Grant if I wanted to. Um, I think I'm probably happier with the uh, commander. Although I will need to start attacking in with more stuff than I currently have. So that is an issue. Yeah, maybe I do play Grant. Now, well, next turn. Shinhair Cleric. Yes, that's right, Roma. They're playing a Shinhair Cleric. Alright, this is our chance. What is my level? We are level 2, sad. We are level 2. But Life Drain makes a huge difference. Huge, huge difference. If you revert a troop, you can still attack with it. That is correct, Stewie. It shouldn't prevent uh, you from attacking. I'm 
I'm just gonna alpha. And then play Grant. Ooh, or I can Bucktooth. And just win. In general, I'm pretty pleased by this. Had a pivot in the starting hand, you felt the love, and then it got tainted. Oh, That's tragic, Ansgar. Pivots are awesome. Jovial Pippet. Start of your turn, you may choose a card in your hand. That card transforms into a random card of the same shards. GG and congrats. Thank you, Leitch. I'm I'm pretty happy. We've done this once before, uh, but this is a this is a level two cleric victory. Level 2 Cleric victory with access to blood. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean... Having board wipes helps. <laughs> I think it's almost essential against the fight. I mean, you can do other things. But this is the cheapest and most effective board wipe that doesn't kill your own stuff. Yeah! Piranha Swarm.